Ots here. Good afternoon to you, Ken. Thanks for joining us here on Market on Close. Let's start with uh, the general thoughts on uh, uh, where this week ended up shaping up. It's been a tug of war. Not so much today. The Bears, uh, you know, getting a, a nice little uh, pull here into the weekend, of course, post the CPI. Uh, where do you assess things here as we uh, round the final turn in the trading day? Right. We had a nice little ping pong match around Dow 33,000. And that was kind of cute up until late yesterday afternoon. The wheels started coming off. And here we are this morning. And I think the markets, you know, it's funny. People say, is it the markets overreacting? No, the market's reacting correctly. When you have an 8.6% print versus an 8.3% consumer price index estimate, this is what happens. And I think the problem we really have here is the market sniffing out stagflation. The definition, stagnation, that is, you know, first quarter GDP negative 1.5. This quarter that we're in, according to Atlanta Fed, below 1%. So that's definitely stagnant growth with inflation. Again, of course, inflation, very hot here. Goldilocks doesn't like that at all. So what we're also seeing is wholesalers taking this hot potato, higher energy costs. They give it to producers and they, in turn, give it to consumers. And we're in this vicious cycle, my friend. So this is where we are right now. The market is not liking it. And uh, I'm not sure what the catalyst is going to be here because it's going to be quite some time before we get more inflation data points. Yeah, it's definitely, and I'm with you, it's not even the number, it's the expectation, and it's just how far off it was. And it's once again, uh, is, is, is much in, in, in the center stage as this uh, inflation data is, uh, for it to come in that hot and uh, re-accelerate now on a month-over-month -month basis is just worrying uh, for a market that's already kind of, you know, tiptoeing and walking on eggshells here uh, in terms of uh, what this is going to mean for the economy. The inflation story is pretty well entrenched at this point. Uh, now it's going to be a matter of, you know, how does this uh, economy take it now going forward as growth already, of course, in question with the contraction in GDP uh, in quarter one, as you mentioned.